In this video, we learn a little about this town's beginnings. Mickey gets bored during our drive, and we see a beautiful waterfall. Today, we're near the historic town of Massey, Ontario, and we're looking for a waterfall. And no, I'm not referring to the one in Chutes Provincial Park. The waterfall we're looking for is a little harder to find. The town of Massey is located at the junction of the Spanish and Osable Rivers, close to the northern shore of Lake Huron. And like many towns nestled along the Trans-Canada Highway, Massey was first established as a railway community. It's believed that the train station opened in 1883, and it was here that the old steam engines would stop if they needed refueling or service. But as the steam engines gave way to the more advanced diesel-powered locomotives, Massey's importance as a divisional stop declined and the station was eventually removed about a century later. Today, Massey is home to Chutes Provincial Park. It features a six kilometer or three and a half mile hiking trail offering incredible views of the waterfalls and the Osable River Gorge. The name Osable River translates to River of Sand and it was an important route for getting the northern white pines south to the lumber mills. Well outside the provincial park boundaries, we make our way down a back road toward our destination. And once again, I'm happy to be joined by my son. This is the first week of April and the snow is all but gone. We began our exploration at the top of the waterfall and worked our way down. See if we can head down that way? I visited here a couple of years ago and it was during the fall. The water was running beautifully, but I wanted to see it in the spring. He wasn't kidding. I wiped out here. But that footage is for a future video. There are no trails here to speak of. Hikers have to be prepared for some rough terrain and steep slopes. But it is so worth it. Perhaps it's because of the beautiful waterfalls at Chutes Provincial Park, or the fact that this location is a little out of the way. It seems few people take the time to visit here. But as for us, we're very happy we came. As mentioned, the terrain is rough, the rocks are slippery, and the water's edge can be particularly dangerous. But all that just makes for an even more genuine Northern Ontario wilderness experience. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video.